All right, today we're breaking down Mason Miller's pitch mechanics. He just threw 104 miles per hour in the All-Star game, and I found the pitch. This is the pitch. He's 6'5", 200 pounds, and he's on the Oakland Athletics. He has quite an interesting journey from being a Division III baseball player to then sort of finding out that he had diabetes, and then eventually climbing from the low 80s to basically mid-100s at this point. He averages 101 miles an hour, and he's been a dominant closer all year. So let's get into his mechanics. From first glance, it's pretty obvious he's got pretty long limbs. Arms and legs are very long with a short upper body. He sort of does a hybrid stretch. So he's positioned as if he's gonna be out of the stretch, and then he sort of does a little toe tap. And then something I find interesting is how low he keeps his hands. I feel like most pitchers in the major leagues sort of have it more like chest height somewhere in there he keeps it almost below his belt buckle now he gets into leg lift upper body is extremely calm glove hand comes up now he's sort of just below shoulder line it just lifts his leg there's not a lot of like leading with the back hip or anything like that and this sort of gives a good visual of what his backside looks like like i said he doesn't really coil his hips or anything like that he's pretty direct just calm controlled and usually with long limb guys you don't want a lot of moving parts because their levers are so long that's going to take care of the velocity you don't need a lot of moving parts and then he settles it's pretty clear to me even at this frame right here that you can tell he's an ir dominant sort of pitcher he's just not going to get into a deep vertical shin and you sort of see his front leg get into that knee knocking position like we talked about with paul Skeens. so here he goes he sits it's a little more of an ir bias to that lower half now he's started, starting to open it up. Right before front foot strike, something that's interesting is how low his arm is right here. Usually people call this the inverted W. So it's sort of supposed to make like a little W here. I don't know why they don't just call it an M, but is what it is. Um, essentially, People say this is a really big indicator of Tommy John surgery and issues, but with him, he sort of, his arm is so fast that although he's like inverted W right before his front foot hits, right when it settles right here, his arm is in a perfectly fine position. So it's really not a big deal. He's just got really long limbs and I feel like it sort of creates this illusion that he's in a bad position even though he's not. And I mean, if you're throwing in the hundreds you're doing something right and at the same time you're bound to hurt yourself at some point so i don't think it's fair to say that if he gets hurt in the future that it's because of his inverted w now you see he's settled in here he doesn't get a ton of separation in terms of like hip shoulder separation on a rotational plane but he gets a ton of like linear separation where he's just so downhill and he's such a big long dude and it all comes crashing down on that front leg. And his front leg, I think, is his biggest outlier. I mean, it's extremely extremely elite. And he just comes through like a catapult, all six, five of them, and boom. That's how you get a dominant closer throwing 101 to 104 and really making a statement at the All-Star game.